Aside from the snows of Kilimanjaro, you probably don't associate Africa with winter weather or winter sports for that matter. But three former track stars based in Texas aim to change that. Despite a shortage of funds, they've formed a bobsled team for their native land and hope that it's a ride that takes them all the way to the Olympics. These women are hoping to become the coolest competitors at the 2018 Winter Olympics. They have their sights set on this, the bobsled course in Pyeongchang, South Korea. Sean Adagun is literally driving the initiative to get a Nigerian women's team on track. She represented Nigeria in the 2012 Summer Games. I kind of had Olympic fever again. And so this was 2014 and the Winter Olympics was on. And I knew quite a few track and field athletes who had transitioned into the winter sports. So I figured, you know, I think I could try this. But Adagun, who is based in Texas, ran into a sizable obstacle. We don't have a sled right now. We're trying to get one. <laughs> Since launching a GoFundMe page last month, the team has raised more than $10,000. Standing, runners, front to back. In the meantime, Adagoon came up with this, a homemade practice sled called the Mayflower. I just went for like two or three days straight, just hammering and drilling and sawing this wooden sled together. The story might sound a bit familiar. The tale of the Jamaican bobsled team that overcame long odds to make the 88 Winter Games was immortalized in the movie Cool Runnings. While Adagoon says the movie wasn't necessarily the inspiration to start a Nigerian bobsled team, the spirit of that Jamaican team is something she hopes to continue. These men did something very special. And to be able to have you know, everyone who's hearing our story put us on the same, you know, line of legacy that these men have created, that's, that's really honorable. Sean needs to complete five races on three tracks by next January to qualify for the Olympics. Her two teammates have only practiced on the wooden sled. They haven't yet raced on ice. <laughs> I love this story, Anthony. This team, they look really fierce, even if they don't have a Come sled. On, they're competitors. Yeah. They're ready to do this thing. 418 <laughs> days to go to the Olympics. <laughs> Coming up fast.